Hi everyone. So what I'm going to talk about today is uh, perfecting the red pout. Um, so as you can see, I've got some nice simple makeup on that would be perfectly complemented by some nice juicy red lips. So I've just got on some nice foundation with a little hint of bronzer and blusher and some neutral eyes with just nice big eyelashes. Um, and I'm going to be putting on the Napoleon Purdy Divine Goddess Lipstick in Aphrodite. And to help maintain my red lips, I'm going to be using a lip pencil, a designer brand's red lip pencil um, underneath. Now, many of you might be scared of using lip pencil because often you see women with nice dark lip pencil all around the, their lips with like a light shade of lipstick inside. That doesn't look good. The tips and the secrets with using lip pencil is always use a shade lighter than what you're wearing. And um, so like if you're going to do nude lips, you'd want to use an even nuder um, lip pencil. And Bobbi Brown says that you should always put your lip pencil on after you've put your lipstick on. Because that way you can just go actually on the inner rim of your lip, like here rather than here because you want to make sure you get it in the right place um, but with red I found the best way to do it is to actually colour in your whole lips with the pencil so I go around the outside I ignore what Bobby says and I start with the pencil so I'm going to go around the outside then I'm going to colour in my lips then I'm going to put the lipstick on top and the lip pencil underneath just helps maintain the colour so that when I'm drinking something or if I'm eating something the lipstick might come off a little bit, but the, it's still red underneath. And it actually helps hold on to the lipstick as well, so the lipstick stays on your lips longer. Okay, so we just start. Here we go. Don't laugh at me. Not going too far out though, so staying within the contours of your lips. Colour inside the lines please, children. So this, this is the look you really don't want to go for. So keep colouring. Very slightly. You don't have to be too extreme. It's just a rough guideline. Well, not rough, exact, but you don't have to get every little crevice filled in. Okay, so it's just a pale kind of, it's almost like a lip stain before you put the lipstick on. Then, as I'm working on myself and it's my own lipstick, I'll just put it on straight from the tube. But if I was working on somebody else, I'd use a lip brush and put it on. But you know me, I like to keep things easy. So we just get the lipstick. Go over the top. Now this is where you want to get your little, this is where a brush helps, but if you don't have a brush, your little finger does fine. Just to spread out the colour without having to make yourself look like a clown. And now, the secret to making sure you don't have too much lipstick on your lips, which my auntie taught me when I was about 11. Take your little finger put it inside your mouth and pull it out. And you have, if you have lipstick around your finger when you pull it out, you've got too much lipstick on. Let's see if I do. Perfect! Cool! So now I can go out and rock some red lips with my nice neutral eyes. So remember, if you're doing the red lips, you want to keep your eyes neutral. If you're doing heavy eyes, you don't want to have red lips. Um, but yeah, I hope that was easy enough for you to follow and you got some tips on how to use a lip liner properly it's kind of a crime if you use it incorrectly. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you next week.